Hi Taurus, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another You versus Them. Taurus, let's see how you're feeling now, how the person connected to your energy is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And Taurus, these are general collective readings, may not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind. Take what works for you, leave the rest. So let's begin. Welcome back all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. Taurus. All right, newcomers, I'm setting down two sets of cards here. One side will be for you, one side will be for your person, and in the center, I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual energies. If this is your reading, Taurus, you'll know which side you resonate best with, right? For me, well, for me, this is going to be person A, this is going to be person B bottom of my deck knight of pentacles in reverse so there could be a lot of stagnancy in this connection at the moment taurus i do feel somebody wants their happiness back but i think they sabotage themselves they could have ghosted lied cheated run away done something but they do want to talk about it they want they are clear now they want to talk about it they want to try again because they are feeling very stuck in their life the other person is kind of tired is giving up and saying you know what they've delayed it for too long i can't wait any longer i know what there is to know they never put the effort in they never put the work into this connection i don't want to deal with drama or you know somebody who's a liar or a cheat or a player or anything like that i've lost my strength of to even fight for this connection anymore so let's see what's going to happen i'm going to clarify all these cards for you uh, taurus but first let's start with some dialogue message cards let's see if you guys could say something to each other what that would be and then i'll clarify these taurus and their person spirit if they could say something to each other now what would that be taurus and their person all right let's take a few more taurus from another deck taurus and their person taurus and their person spirit if they could say something to each other now what would that be and a few more from a third deck as well taurus and then we'll start the reading taurus and their person taurus and their person one more all right good to go let's start the reading taurus and uh, taurus if any of you looking for personal readings my email is omkarataro at gmail.com you can reach me there it's there in the description box below as well so the first card says i would be honored to have a family with you i'm so afraid that you've left my life forever it hurts me to the core You deserve to be loved. You are very special. Left off on bad terms, with so many things left unsaid. I bury you with lies. I'm scared to tell you the truth. This lifetime didn't work out. Hopefully I can do better next lifetime. When I said I love you forever, I meant it. I try and find you in everyone new that I meet. I wish I could apologize. I've now realized that we, are we have a past life connection. I didn't even recognize it earlier that I loved you so deeply. I think somebody's realized it now. I'm, I was not prepared. You're a catalyst to my spiritual growth. You are my love. You are my last love and you are my last everything. I need you to need me like I need you. Maybe somebody was playing the runner chaser games because they were hoping to be chased. Don't be so insecure. I want to make love to you. I want to regain your trust. I forgive you. 
All right. So, Taurus, these were some of your messages. If these were resonating with your storyline, let's start the reading. And um, of course, before that, we have to do our angel blessing card. Let's uh, see what my angels want to bless my Taurus gang with today as a blessing, guidance, advice, or a message confidence either somebody needs the confidence to come forward with the truth now uh, Taurus but uh, the spiritual meaning of this card is also well this is the this is the sword very 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 sharp and an important sword of Archangel Michael which is sometimes used to cut out soulmate connections which no longer work so well let's see what's happening in this connection though I'm going to start with person A's energy and uh, newcomers, uh, don't get confused, okay? These are two soul energies in front of me. They're not gender-based. This is just two souls. How they feel about each other was the most likely action they'll take towards each other. And if this is your storyline, one side would be you, the other side would be the person connected to your energy. Uh, I don't I don't know which side you're on and I don't want to know because I want to be fair to both sides, okay? Uh, and... Of course, this could be a soulmate who's your ex or a spouse or a love interest or could even be a non-romantic person. But from the dialogue message card, somebody wants to make love to you. So could be a best friend, could be even a business partner who has a crush on you or maybe not a relative. Okay, so let's start now. Let's start with person A's energy. And once we finish person A, after that we'll move to the other side so you're not confused. Okay, so right now I'm focusing only on one energy which is person A for me. So what's the sun card person A? Yeah, person A now wants this happiness back. Now they're seeing the other person as their sunshine, their bright spot of their life, their two of cups. They've recognized the connection. This is the one that makes me happy. This is a gift from the universe. This person matches me completely. This is my soulmate. But I guess they sabotaged themselves. They ran away. Maybe they were not ready for commitment or they didn't want to get stuck in a situation. And now they're realizing, oh my God, this was my person. This is my soulmate. This is, they feel like such a fool. Now they're feeling like such a fool because I think they ran away from the person who they now realize is their ultimate happiness. Right, person A? Tell me, why do, why do you feel this way? King of Swords. What's the King of Swords? Yeah, King of Swords says, I've come to that realization now. I've had that clarity. I, I feel like such a fool because whatever running or whatever I did, the lying, cheating, I kind of feel it backfired on me. Because now I'm hoping that this connection isn't totally over and out. It's still not over. I mean, I hope they haven't ended things with me completely because I can't, I can't afford to lose my person. They are the person I see fertility, growth, abundance with, but I disrespected them. And now I don't know whether they want me back in their, in their life. They are scared now of maybe judgment or of not getting a second chance. Right? So nine of wands. Nine of Wands, person A. One more. They want to try again. They, yes, this person definitely is, they are very frustrated. Maybe in the past, this person was creating drama or maybe may have said, maybe have had arguments, not put in the work. Maybe they didn't want to be stuck in a situation or they could have been guarded. Now they feel they want to rebuild. Now they want to rebuild. They realize that without the other person in their life, none of their dreams and wishes are coming true. They're feeling very, very insecure. Now they feel they've lost out on their biggest wish. This person is very, very frustrated. Very frustrated because now they don't know whether they can work this out again with their person or not. Right? So, person A, tell me, uh, how do you see the connection now? How do you see person B? How do you feel about this connection? Wheel of Fortune in reverse. They're feeling stuck. They're feeling stuck because um, maybe something was said or revealed about them or they themselves could have said or revealed something about what they didn't want or what they wanted and now they feel the other person is not wanting them back. This person has had some kind of a clarity. Let's see what that is. Uh, Ace of Swords, what's the clarity you've had personally? 
that they want things to start moving forward again. They want to rush towards person B. They want to be get on to, into their car and rush towards the other person, hoping that you know things can still work out. Uh, they want to talk. They want to clear the air. Even though I think that's there's been a delay in them coming forward, they they are now scared. They are angry and they're scared. And actually, they, I think they're angry with themselves. Why did I do what I did? Why did I say what I said? Why was I rude? I lost out on a ten of cups. Now they want it. They want to move forward. But uh, they are a little scared. I'm telling you. They're scared that they may not get a second chance. They feel that the other person has totally given up on them. There's, they're feeling very insecure because they know that they are the ones who maybe never stepped up and offered nothing. Now they are not sure whether their dreams and wishes will come true, even though I think they do want to rebuild. They're feeling a little hopeless. Yeah. Okay, so what action person A will finally take, I will open later with the other person's action card. But right now I'm going to now forget about person A, I'm going to go to person B now, see how they are coping. So person B, you have the seven of wands in reverse. Yeah, person B says, I'm not fighting for this connection anymore, Omkara Taro. I have cut them out. I have used that Archangel Michael's sword and I've cut this connection out because I don't trust them at all. I'm angry with them. I'm upset with them. I don't want to, you know, I don't want this delay in my life. I don't want to stay stuck. You know, when I feel I'm in a connection, but I'm not, I'm always trapped in my mind. And yes, I have got to know certain truths about them and uh, I'm done. I think something has been revealed and person B says I don't even want to be single anymore and wait around for somebody who's never who's always going to be you know stubborn and egoistic and pretend that they're an emperor which which they are not in fact you know what I'm going to start holding back from this connection now and I'm ready to put a halt to this connection and move on now towards self-love towards new love why do you feel this way person B tell me Person B says, because I know what there is to know now. I mean, I, 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 my mind is clear. My mind is clear. I know what, what they are all about. And uh, it's time for me that uh, I turn my back on this connection now and see what else is out there right uh, i can't be sitting in a connection which always makes me feel less than or feels makes me feel abandoned or left out in the cold i'm done with all that uh, person b feels that their person never put in the work and they just kept them emotionally stuck never uh, opened up their emotions or offered them any love so person b says i'm not going to deal with the king of cups in reverse omkara taro i'm getting unstuck from the situation now done i'm done Okay, so how do you feel about the connection now, person B? How do you see person A and how do you feel about the connection? Knight of Wands in reverse. Yeah, person B feels that all person A brought to their life was drama. They behaved like a player, treated them like an option. Uh, I mean, they were sweet and romantic when they wanted to be and then they trotted off and went off to another place. It's like, yeah, you know, I, I just wasted so much time, effort, energy into something that never even grew, Omkara Taro. And they were just, they just were not strong enough to be in a connection, a solid connection. And uh, they insulted me. They, they just had they just had maybe romance on their mind or fun on their mind and nothing else and yes i did feel disrespected in this connection so yes maybe it's time for me now to move on towards finding new love in my life strength in reverse yeah person b says they lacked courage to do the right thing by me for us they were selfish they were self-centered they were only attention seeking that's it to once again yeah person b doesn't have the best impression right now of, of person a who they see as a player somebody very very immature who person b says i'm not waiting around for them anymore i'm done waiting around for a character who's never going to step up i am giving up i'm totally giving up i'm not fighting for this connection anymore okay so let's see what actions you guys will take then i'm going to take another deck for this one 
Taurus and uh, my turn now may I please request you if you could just tap the like button for me please helps the videos to circulate keeps me motivated thank you and newcomers repeating viewers do like share subscribe to the channel we welcome you in so person A let's start with you action from your end towards person B or otherwise nine of cups what's the nine of cups nine of cups they want this happiness back this person either is seeing the other person as very happy in their own life very strong maybe moving on to a brand new beginning and uh, they pack their bags. I think person A is sensing that person B is ready to go now. Uh, this person is kind of trapped in their mind because they want this happiness. They want this happiness. They want to somehow end this argument, fight, whatever, this upheaval that has happened. They want to restore peace. They are dreaming of the other person, wondering if there is any way, any way that they can have a new beginning. It's like, how do I go back now? How do I restore peace? How do I regain their trust? So what, are you going to take any action or not, person A? Eh? Or are you just seeking courage? Wheel of Fortune, Six of Wands, Seven of Wands, and yeah, somewhere they feel that person B is uh, moved on or is moving on and very successful and happy in their own life they feel that even if I go towards them and give them an offer, my offer is not going to be accepted. They feel their offer is not good. They feel they will not be getting a second chance somewhere. They're just sitting very discontent in the sweet memories of the past. They expect the other person to say, thank you, sorry, namaste, I'm not interested. Okay, so maybe they don't have the confidence maybe to face person B at the moment. Okay, person B, what about you? Action from your end towards person A or otherwise? Hermit. I don't think they're with anyone else. This person could be just connecting to their spiritual side or healing their broken heart. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, Eight of Cups. I think they've, they've been silently praying to the universe. They could be... I think this person finally knows their worth and what they want in life. It's like I know I'm marriage material. I know I know I bring a lot of the lot to the table, and uh, if person A can't give it, then my spirit guides tell me maybe it's time for me to walk away. It's time to walk away from a connection and turn my back on a connection which always made me feel left out in the cold, left behind, feeling not good enough. Let me just go and see get onto my own chariot and go and see what else is out there and if one percent i think person a comes back it's going to be a shock for person b i don't think they'll believe them immediately because of the past history of all the lying ghosting cheating the devil energy right so person b is kind of just healing their own self right now making their own dreams and wishes coming true he uh, standing strong in their uh, you know, keeping themselves guarded, keeping themselves protected and uh, yeah, very spiritual at this time. Maybe just connecting to their own spiritual side at the moment. Recognizing that, yeah, this guy, this person brought too much drama. I, I'm not going to deal with any, any more conflict in my life. It's time for me to hold back from anything or anyone who brings that to me and focus on myself, focus on making my own dreams and wishes to come true. I think person B is pretty much ready to start a passionate brand new journey. Okay, so no wonder there's total stagnation at the moment. Let's see what that is. Uh, Knight of Pentacles in Reverse Spirit. Overall energy for Taurus's reading today. Knight of Pentacles. Empress, yes, the Empress doesn't chase. Empress puts a full stop and says, you know what? Yeah, Empress says, 
I love them, but if they don't have the energy or the courage to come towards me and offer me anything, then yes, even though I am loving, I'm compassionate, I will be attracting in on only positive things into my life. This particular person was not giving off their energy. So if that offer is that small, it doesn't match me. Mm, I'm not I'm not going to deal with anyone who's coming in with baggage. I don't even I'm not even going to reach out and be the first one to communicate. It's a, almost like person B says, I'm wrapping up this chapter now. I'm going to start a brand new one. Why? Because I think they feel that this connection was just too imbalanced. That's what I have for you, Taurus. Till next time then, love and light. Take care. Namaste.